some coins to make those new beastly pickups head on over to go buy mmo.com and use code zerk for a five percent discount on your order get those coins get those players what is going on guys it is zerk's equal today with another youtube video today we have new veterans in the game we're gonna go over those as well as we also have a new playoff exchange set so take a look at this you need eight of the 85 to 87s and this will get you 189.92 now not too sure really how expensive these are i mean we can sort by 85 probably about well they're definitely not going for that much i know for sure we can sort by right end and i think that Brooks Reed was actually pretty cheap just a little bit ago. He's probably like 5k, but now he's up to about 20,000 coins. So this pack may actually cost you about uh, maybe 100k or a little bit more, depending on if you have any NAT cards from these solos. Now, with that being said, to get yourself 189 to 92, there's actually some pretty cheap 89s out there, but of course, you do have 92 overalls, which have been going for at least. 100,000 coins like Cameron Hayward, I believe is like 110k. Deion Jones is going for like 350k, which I think is the best one you can pull out of that. So, not too sure if you think that guy's that it's a good risk to take, but in my opinion, I'm not going to do any of those sets. Then we have the new veteran set. Take a look at this. What you need is one elite token, four gold tokens, and five silver tokens to get yourself an elite veterans player. Now, we also have a new bundle out in the game. Take a look at this for the veterans player and it's a six elite pack bundle you think six elite packs and a topper containing an 89 overall plus veteran so you yourself at least an 89 overall veteran and i do believe that's the only new packs in the game but also let's go take a look at all the new veterans there is a ton of them and a ton of really really good veterans so just take a look at these i believe they're all 93 three overall or 92 plus for all the new guys that came out so let's go and sort and we can actually see that of course the veterans ever go for a little bit more so it is 89 plus of that pack so you're not going to get yourself cario stansby or peko the worst person the worst person you could get would be cliff averill and we'll keep going down to see if we can find any of the new guys so i do believe brandon mabane is someone new take a look at his stats he's rocking for about 60k 63 speed 91 strength and 90 tackle, 88 block shit, 91 play rec. Also has an acceleration of an 80, so not too good. I mean, he's not very good in anything in general. He's just kind of a budget defensive tackle if you guys need to pick someone up like that. Take a look down here, and we'll see who else we can find here. We have Michael Crabtree and Morgan Burnett. So let's see if Morgan Burnett may be good enough to play safety or cornerback. 82 man with an 89 zone, so unfortunately doesn't have 91 zone coverage, which... Kind of just kills this card, to be honest. But 87 speed, 89 excel, 92 pleric, 86 tackle, 82 man, 89 zone with a 91 pursuit, and a 90 hit power. He also has a catching of an 88, jumping of a 91, which is actually pretty good for safety. He's also 6 foot 1, block shed of a 79. So, unfortunately, doesn't have 91 zone, 88 stamina as well. In my opinion, not worth the pickup because of the fact he doesn't have 91 zone. But Michael Crabtree. Take a look at him compared to even Dwight Clark, actually looks pretty good. 88 speed, 89 catching, 84 elusiveness. Also has himself 93 spectacular catch, 92 release, 91 route running with 89 catching traffic and also with 91 jumping. Now he does have a 73 strength and acceleration of a 90 and he has a run block of 67, which is pretty solid and a stiff arm 81 spin of an 88. Juke of an 88 and an impact block of 62, so pretty solid overall wide receiver. Compared to Kelvin Benjamin, he is only six foot one, so you're already losing you know, a couple inches. But take a look at everything else; he's definitely a better receiver, so pretty solid card right there as well. Keep going now and see what we have. Muhammad Wilkerson. This should be a very good three four defensive end. Compared to Ezekiel Ansa, 73 speed. You can't expect him to be super fast, but 94 strength. That is something pretty good. 81 acceleration with a 94 tackle 89 block shed unfortunately i kind of thought they'd be way higher 92 power move 84 finesse with a 92 play wreck so i mean not really spectacular to be honest with you for a 93 overall also a 67 catch and i really figured they would give him at least like 93 94 block shed but how is kind of known for that 
Then he has a 93 stamina as well, so at least he has pretty good stamina for defensive and also a 90 hit power, but of course, compared to Jarrell Casey, he does beat him and everything. When it comes to Hansa, he's not going to beat him in speed or acceleration, but really wish that block shit was just a tad bit higher. Then we have Trent Williams, 93 overall. Let's see what he's working with. 92 strength, 92 run block with a 92 pass block, and of course, impact block is not going to be up there. Only an 85 impact block, 92 awareness, 85 stamina, 78 speed with a 73 agility. It also has an acceleration of an 84, so I guess that's honestly not too bad. Now, I do know we have some other guys, and let's see if we can find them if we sort maybe by 90 to 91. I do believe there's an Eli Manning out here, and let's see if we can find him. There he is, Eli Manning, going for about 225,000 coins. Take a look at his stats compared to Tom Brady, 67 speed, 93 awareness, 88 throw power, 91 short, 89 medium with 87 deep, 9 with play action, also an 87 throw on the run. So you can honestly just go with the base of Brady and maybe better off, especially for the price. I'm not too sure exactly how much Tom Brady's going for or how much Eli Manning is going to be once his price finally does settle, but I'll probably go with Brady anyways. I mean, you take a look at the salary cap, they're the same. So also has the acceleration of a 67 compared to Brady's 64, carrying of a 69, which is a little bit better. He also has, with ball carry moves, 68 spin, 70 juke, and stamina is kind of important, 92 to 90. So it's kind of just up to you to see what you want to do. Manning just completed his 14th season in, in uh, his 14th NFL season in 2017. He has played in New York his entire career. Why can I not say that? But that is Elon Manning. He also has Go Deep Chemistry, which isn't too bad. And I do believe we have some other new ones. If I can actually find them, if we can sort of at 92, 93 maybe. And see if they're going to be up. And I do believe we have a Chris Harris. And also we have a Jonathan Stewart. So he's up for 150k right off the bat. That actually may be kind of low for Jonathan Stewart. But he has 94 truck. That's the first thing that pops out of you. But 86 speed, 88 agility. 92 excel 92 carrying 82 spin 87 looseness with a 94 trucking and an 89 juke move he also has a strength of an 81 catching of a 70 and let's see what else he's working with here he also has a stiff arm of a 92 and a stamina of i think i actually may have passed the stamina already. it's probably not that high 88 stamina so definitely not too bad i mean if you want just a trucking back you can compare it to derrick henry he doesn't have the speed, so he's three less speed than Derrick Henry, but besides that, he's got everything else on Derrick Henry. So if you want strictly a goal line back, then maybe Jonathan Stewart is your guy. Now, of course, we do have to look at the strength between Derrick Henry and Jonathan Stewart. I feel like Derrick Henry would probably be stronger, but yeah, so Derrick Henry has, you know, eight more strength. It's really just up to you who you want to go with on the goal line. For me, I'd probably still go with Derrick Henry because if you're running a you know, single back or goal line halfback dive, you kind of do want that little bit more speed as well as the truck. But you could go, you know, Jonathan Stewart because of the Excel. That's honestly just up to you guys, whatever you guys want to do. But let's refresh one more time and see if we can find ourselves Chris Harris. And I don't think that he's going to be up just yet. Maybe he's a little bit higher overall, 94 possibly. And apparently not. Let's go back to 90 to 91s and see if there's anybody else new that I may have missed really quickly. And Eli Manning. I don't think there's anybody else that I may have skipped past. But there may as well be an 89 overall. Just going to have to check that one as well really quickly. And I don't think there's any new 89 overall. So unfortunately, I do believe that is all for the video today. Now, there of course is also a Chris Harris Jr. Which I can't seem to find in the auction market. And of course... He's probably got 91 zone. I have not seen the stats on the card just yet. But of course, he probably does have 91 zone coverage. Take a look. And Trent Williams. Yeah, so unfortunately, he's not going to be up yet. But that is all I have for you guys today. We have new veterans and also an exchange pack for the NFL playoffs promo. So if you guys want to do that, make sure to go check that out and do that. So let me know down below if you guys do that set. Will you guys pull it there? Is it worth it to do? You know, I'm thinking if you get Deion Jones, it might be worth it to do. But if we sort by... The NFL playoffs because of course people are going to be doing the set and the price is going to be falling now for these 92 overalls but as you guys can see Patrick DeMarco 92k Cameron Hayward 93k and Julius Peppers is 104k Brian Arakpo 130 let's see what Deion Jones is falling down to maybe both 300k if people are really pulling him 
and no, it looks like he's about 330,000 coins still. So really just depends on how many people are going to pull this Deion Jones. And he's going for 330k, but Mark Barron's down to 140. But that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. Let me know down below if you guys did this set, what you guys pulled. Also, go make sure to go check out my video from earlier today. It is a shout out to a fellow YouTuber that I really think you guys need to go and check out. Please go check it out with the new YouTube guidelines. I do not want to see my friend go down like that with the demonetization. Please go check him out. I will see you guys next time.